New at 5.30 tonight, we're getting a lot of tips from Eyewitness News viewers using the reported function on the WDPRI.com app to tons of potholes around our area. Now, it's a common problem, and every city is having to take action. So tonight, we got out with the local city's pothole patrol. Pete Mangione got a look at how they're fixing Cranston Street. It's all new at 5.30. A few weeks ago, the concern was about street flooding. Now the concern has shifted to potholes. Filling in potholes is not the most fun way to spend a sunny Friday afternoon, but someone has to do it. Cranston Highway Superintendent John Corso says although this may seem like an especially bad year for potholes, there rarely are good years. Every spring is bad with potholes. This year, you know, as soon as the snow stopped, we got bombed with potholes. We got four crews a day on it. Last year, they were gifted the smaller compactor, which was immediately put to work. This year, it is working overtime. It's light, the guys can lift it, you know, easily on and off the truck and it seems to work well. And that's a good thing because these potholes come in all shapes and sizes. Last night at the intersection of South Clarendon and Auburn, this pothole was so big that a police car had to block it off. Corso says it's a little easier for crews to maneuver and patch up potholes on quieter residential streets, but potholes don't discriminate and they have to fix the ones on major streets as well. On busy streets, uh, we hand tamp them or we run them over with the big truck. You know, if it's a busy street with a long stretch. And here is something that was hard to find a few weeks ago, a street drain. And despite the rain that's on the way tomorrow, they say that most of these drains are now clear of snow and they're not anticipating any major problems. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.